As black Americans, we have to really re-examine who we really are because we're the only culture over here that seems to work against each other. I think all of us would like to see an improvement in the African American communities because there's no reason for law enforcement to do the things that they've done. If we had a community that took care of itself, law enforcement would work for us. There's a lot of people were saying that Mr. Trump did not care about black people, the welfare of black people. We found that to be untrue. We found that with the program that we brought to him, he endorsed it and said that he is in. He is accepting uh, what we are presenting. And his people, his advisors, have accepted that. So we are going to work together to help this community be a better community, help this country be a better country. Wow, that was football legend Jim Brown on set with me yesterday talking race relations and his chat with President-elect Donald Trump. Joining us now is syndicated radio host Stacey Washington. Stacey, this was a whole new approach. Uh, it wasn't hostile. There was no outrage. It wasn't, it wasn't Al Sharpton. This is something new, isn't it? Yes, it is. I, I, I don't think the discussion is new, Stuart. There have been so many of us who have been out here for short periods of time, decades, saying the same thing. Fatherhood matters. And what we see in inner cities with police departments and police officers, they have to do more than just police. They're actually acting as absent, uh, they're filling the role of that absent father. And what Jim Brown said, the way that he presented himself, his demeanor, it was kind-hearted, it was from a position of authority because he's older and he's lived through these things. And most importantly, he is talking from the position of someone who voted for Hillary Clinton, but he still met with Donald Trump. He's right. You go and meet with the future president of the United States. If you're asked to come in, of course you go in. Of course you go. And you take the time to give him advice and share your feelings and thoughts. Well, is that approach going to resonate in the black community? Because it surely is different from what we've seen before. Well, I think it's going to take some time. Right now, everyone's emotions are still raw over the loss. The, the election seems to have had an amazing impact on people. There are millions of Americans who still haven't gotten it in their heads that Trump is going to be president. But on the other hand, I do think it will work in that he's talking about programming created by a couple of very respectable black men who've been in the black community, and they're going to bring something new. Well, do black folks think that Donald Trump is a racist? and became the president because he, used, he put out a platform for white supremacists. Is that the view that is still held widely in the black community? Uh, I do think, unfortunately, due to the media just constantly beating that drumbeat, Stuart, that that is the perception. I don't know how that can be when he was on The Apprentice and every season of The Apprentice and Celebrity Apprentice, blacks were present and represented, kind of over overrepresented for our position, uh, percentage of the population. So, yeah, I think it's still a part of the, uh, the atmosphere out there, but that can be changed. Okay. You hope it's changed? Do you want it to change? I do. I really want people to take him at his word and see what he does. Go by the results and think about personal responsibility and what we can do for ourselves. That's where it all starts, Stuart. Yes, ma'am. Thanks very much indeed, Stacey. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you.